Hey everybody, today we're going to be playing Minecraft again and uh, we're going to be fighting a wither and I'm going to kind of show you guys what I've been up to. Okay, so there's quite a bit to actually get caught up on and I don't really know where to start, so I guess we'll just start. Um, I built the flower showcase, so I don't know if you guys remember, but a while ago I, I kind of just started building stuff in this basement, uh, that potion farm where we built uh, last episode. I did this like suit thing and I thought it was kind of neat and I kind of wanted to make a museum of like animals and flowers and items and stuff like that. So uh, I kind of just got bored and did it on my own, which I maybe should have recorded it, but whatever. So basically this is kind of like a showcase of every single flower in the game plus the mushrooms because I kind of consider those flowers. So there's obviously a few things technically missing like seaweed and... Um, or it's kelp technically and like vines and stuff I didn't include those because these are just like flowers so um this can still be improved on the design I this is kind of just like what I built and then kind of we can see where we go basically the basic design is down there it's snow it's a couple of fences and a grass block just high enough where you can view it with uh, a sea lantern and these kind of like side things and every flower so we got I guess we'll just go through them. We got the red tulip, white tulip, orange tulip, pink tulip, and the blue orchid. Uh, then, like I said, we got the two forms of mushrooms because I thought they kind of, they're kind of fitting. We got the dandelion, poppy, oxide daisy, azure, bluette. I don't know how to say that. The ilium, oleum. I don't know. Rosebush. Man, I am illiterate. Uh, peony, the lilac. I thought that was an O. I'm like, dude, I. I wrote these signs myself <laughs> and lastly the sunflower so these are all the flowers in the game a couple of them come from different territories obviously these comes from uh, flower plains uh, the most of these come from normal these come from basically everywhere but they're really prevalent in like mycelium and stuff this come the blue orchid which is most likely a majority's favorite flower in the game comes from the swamp so they're f they're in my opinion the rarest and then these come from uh, planes, most of them. But yeah, so that is the flower showcase. Like I said, we can kind of expand upon it later, but for now, that is all the flowers, and I'm planning to do the same thing with mobs and animals. So the animals will be a little bit easier than the mobs, because obviously I'll just have to get one of every animal and kind of like put them in a display thing. The mobs are a little bit of a different story because I don't know exactly how I'm going to go about doing that just because of the fact that a lot of times, uh, full transparency, I do plan peaceful uh, because it's just a lot easier to go mining and just like have enjoyment in the game. I do this because I enjoy the game. The second I don't enjoy the game, that's the second I quit. So peaceful helps me enjoy the game unless I actually want to be grinding mobs, stuff like that. Um, so the mobs, the problem is when I go in peace, all those mobs disappear. Now I have to look into maybe having a way where mobs don't disappear even in peaceful, maybe by renaming them, but I don't think it exists. I really don't think so. But anyway, so that's the flower showcase and some future plans. One thing that I don't, I guess we'll just do this one, uh, organization. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but this is a lot more organized. Obviously this is kind of. This shouldn't be here, but at the moment, and this shouldn't be here. But just everything other than this and this, um, I organized everything. So I put more of like the sand closer to each other, these blocks, the flowers closer to each other. Did some of that. The meat, we were overflowing, so I ended up adding two chests. And is, is that a chest under? There is a chest under there. So I added more chests for meat. Um, there's a couple new chests for other things. I don't I don't know if this was this episode or the last. I don't know. But you can kind of take a look. Everything is a little bit different. Like this chest right now doesn't have an item. So we're going to have to find an item for that. And especially over here, we were overflowing with wool. So I added one right below. And the biggest reason I even did the organization was the stone, cobblestone, dirt, and grass dilemma. Because they, I kind of was just mixing them, throwing them random together. Now it's nice and set. I don't think there's anything in here. These ones are all stone. These ones are all bricks. These ones are all dirt. And this is grass. This is cobble. And that is normal again. So now we kind of have two things to do. Um, I'll show you the guys in a second. 
So make bedroom fancy. So at the moment, and this is this kind of just dawned on me. Like, look at everything we have in the game. Like, this egg surrounded by diamond blocks. This flower surrounded by diamond blocks. Um, all, like, all of this fancy stuff. Even the, the, the fountain out here. There's diamond blocks inside the fountain. Like, everything we have is pretty styled up. But if we go to where I sleep, this is it. This is my bed. I sleep here. So I thought maybe we could, uh, you know, style it up a bit. Um... Maybe even move this armor out of here. Um, but I think that's what we're going to be doing first. But before we do that, I do want to show you kind of what I've been up to farming and grinding wise. So let's just start with here because this is the first thing I did. I took a little trip to the nether. So this is all the stuff from my expedition to the nether. Plenty of soul sand, a lot of magma blocks, a lot of glowstone, which we were running low on. That's, that was actually my original intent was to get more glowstone. And obviously, while I got glowstone, I got plenty of nether quartz also, um, for, partly for, like, decoration, but also for comparator, stuff like that. And while I was there, I also looted a couple temples, stuff like that. So we got plenty of, uh, horse armor, two diamonds, plenty of golds, uh, five iron saddle. We got some magma creams, you know, uh, three gas tubes, which is pretty nice. And, you know, the obvious loot from chest, so diamonds, gold. Uh, but we somehow got three wither skeleton skulls i don't know what i just got really lucky this is while exploring three of them got dropped for me so it's insane it's insane but we got enough for another wither fight so we're going to be doing that which also means we're going to be getting another beacon here which is really really nice now after that was done uh i had a little uh, like night where I just wanted to mine for some reason so I did that so this is the uh, end of that now real quick I'm gonna play some footage of me breaking all this stuff probably just for two seconds Now that we're back, this is everything. So I got a lot more diamond than I thought I would. Like this is quite a bit, almost uh, seven stacks, plenty of lapis, lots of iron, uh, emeralds, gold, lots of stuff. Also, still got plenty of redstone ore that I didn't even break yet because I I thought these can actually still be used for decoration. So I'm not gonna break all of them. So that is everything that I've been grinding. Now with these diamonds, obviously we're gonna bling up our bedroom here. So I'm going to kind of get some things together and we're going to uh, style this place up a bit. Okay guys, so the first thing I did is I moved all the armor stands into this room. Uh, just because of the fact that this room is really like already kind of looks cool and there's basically just one single thing in here. So I just put all the armor here for now and maybe we'll do something with it later. Alright everybody, so I took everything out of these and ended up putting them away. Which is really really nice so i got all that out of the way all these are empty except i'm gonna keep the wither skulls on me um yeah got everything cleaned up put all the diamonds away uh iron away gold all the way although i don't have as much of these items anymore because the room is done now here is the room itself so uh it started with uh lapis uh floor iron ceiling and there it is so um it's very 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 over the top it's something that a nine-year-old would build uh but that's kind of the point right it's it's so stupidly filled with materials that it this looks like something someone would build in creative just because why not but in this case it's not in creative it's actually in survival so we got one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Minus these two, I counted these two, those aren't. So I've got 18 diamond blocks. I've just got gold scattered. I've got lapis scattered, iron. I mean, the entire ceiling is iron. I got some dragon heads. I got some uh, gold apples. Even back here, um, it's all coral blocks, gold, more gold, more redstone blocks. So yeah, 
th I, that's what I would describe this as. This is a nine-year-old creative build, but in survival. But it just kind of shows the amount of materials that I have. Basically, a really weird flex. So, yeah, this is where I'm going to sleep. And I think I already set uh, the bed is... I was like, what do you mean the bed is too far away? It's right in front of me. So we can actually go to sleep here. Make sure our spawn is set. And I do have, I do spawn a little bit inside the dragon head, but ah, eh, whatever. It's a little oversight. Um, so yeah, that is uh, the room right there. So that is the sleeping bedroom. We got that done. Uh, next is the wither fight. Yeah. So I don't even know where I was going with that. Next is the wither fight. So. Um, I'm gonna quickly get geared up for that really quickly. All right, everybody. So I got myself all situated. Got a lot of healing potions, some strength potions, some speed potions. I've got my soul sand and my skeleton. So I think I'm ready for this fight. I don't see why I wouldn't be ready. I think I've got everything. Also, if you're wondering why all of a sudden I sound different, I look different. So it's actually a couple hours later since um, the last cut. So uh, I ended up going to the doctor um so i don't think i mentioned this in the beginning of the video but i came down with something like a, uh, an upper respiratory infection so that's kind of been going on for a while and uh yeah i kind of just got up and went to the doctor you know got got my prescriptions everything i needed and i uh, got some food and now i'm back so yeah this is really really weird random cut but that happened so you might be wondering where am i going to now I'm just looking for an open field. I, I'm not going to fight him in a forest because if I get stuck on trees, I'll probably uh, rage. So, we're going to do this right here. Okay, now we should be good. Can I hit it? Okay, I can't hit it. It's going to exp... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm going to say literally I, I avoided that. Oh, that that's some lag. Okay. No, 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 no. no. Come, come for me. I, and I am missing. Can you please? Okay, it's not attacking me at the moment, which is kind of. Can you come for me? Oh, he's coming for me. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, 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 cool. That's technically what I wanted. That's technically what I wanted. Okay, keep chasing me, keep chasing me, keep chasing me, keep chasing me. Is he... Oh, oh gosh. There we go, and we killed it. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, that was a little bit scary, actually. Another beacon, just like that. So there is another beacon, our third beacon of the game. And also, let's go ahead and grab, let's grab some iron blocks. We're gonna go ahead and add it right now, and real quickly, full transparency, let me make it peaceful. And those are two that we have right now. Let's go ahead and add this one. But also, I know I spent the other part of this video just hardcore flexing with some diamonds. What we're going to do now is actually do the exact opposite. If this beacon, it's there's no reason to use diamonds for this beacon. So I'm going to go ahead and take these away. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take those away. And yeah, replace those with iron. Did the, do the beacons come back on automatically? I don't know, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and add this one, so I don't know exactly how to do this. I think I just need to basically add another layer onto here. Let's see if that works. I think it's basically all I need to do, right? Because then this has this, and then it goes all the way down. Yeah. Let's go ahead and add that one right there. So is it good now? Okay, so you see now it's good, so I opened it up. 
So we have strength. I think we're going to put jump boost too. There we go. So now we have speed, haste, and jump boost. So now we got three of them, which is super, super nice. Uh, let's go ahead and place this block back. Now, here's the only issue right now is now I have three beacons, but it's off center. I'm going to need one more. So probably what I'm going to do, also I'm going to change these to blue. Yeah, I was like, is that how it works? Um, what I'm probably going to do is, for next episode, I'm going to go ahead and get a fourth beacon. Just because I really don't like it that it's, you know, I only have three. It's kind of messing with me. So I'll probably try to go get a fourth. I'll probably even do, honestly, the Wither fight off camera because... Well, if we just did a wither fight right now, there's technically no reason to do another one. Everybody, for now, I'm going to log off. I don't know if this is the end of this episode. What I might actually do is go ahead and get three more skulls, do another fight, and then end off the episode, which will probably be in the next couple days. Who knows? But for now, I'm going to head off. All right, everybody. So I'm back. Now, it actually isn't tomorrow. It's or whatever day. It's actually a couple hours later. Um... I kept playing uh, I don't know why but I kept playing and I got myself four more wither skeleton skulls but I will have to mention it is very much later in the day like five six hours because I've been working a lot and I'll show you guys exactly what I've been working on and it has something to do with these wither skulls so real quick what we're gonna do we're gonna do this fight we're gonna get that other beacon and then I'm gonna show you guys what I've been working on to show you around and we can end off the episode there but for now let's just do the fight one, two, three, four. I think I need one, two, three. Bam. There we go. And it's going to explode in a couple seconds here. And it's going to go boom. Me. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. It's on me now. Ooh, it is on me now. Oof. We did it. Oh, that was a harder fight. That was a way harder fight. I was actually legitimately scared that I was going to lose there. Because I got pretty close to low multiple times. You could, you could probably see it in my face. If I remember in post editing, just zoom in on my face right there. It's probably the face of fear. Because I really didn't want to lose that. That would have sucked. Go ahead and doink. Uh, doink, and another beacon. There we go. And you know what we can do with this one wither skull? Since we only have one at the moment, but we'll get plenty more, and I'll show you guys how. For now, we're going to place it right there. Just, uh, cause that looks, I might actually farm a couple just because, uh, actually look pretty cool. Right, let's get some blue, some blue glass. Uh, get that beacon out, and we already have the iron all set for that. Just go ahead and place that right there all right so i have gotten the blue uh glass set up let's go ahead and place an iron and actually give it an effect hmm oh, no, okay so just to go in there there we go boom boom there we go go ahead and place that in there what do we want i'm guessing we already have speed haste and jump so we might as well grab resistance with what is resistance? I don't really need resistance. Let's just grab regeneration too. 
There we go. So we have speed. Okay, we basically have almost all the buffs. And that is really, really nice. Now if we go up here. Ooh. Now we have all four beacons. And they are nicely aligned instead of having three. Cool. Uh, real quick, let me clean up my inventory and I'll show you guys what I've been working on. Alright, so let's go ahead and set this on normal because, um, like I said, the thing that I've been working on has to do something with um, the Wither Skulls that I got. So you might be wondering, it's all, it's the same day, it's only been about 3-4 hours, how did you manage to get those Skulls? Because Skulls are fairly rare. Well, I'll show you what I've been working on. Now this took quite a little bit. Um, a lot of TNT. A lot of TNT, a lot of mining, and a lot of building. And I'm sure if you guys look ahead, you can kind of already tell what it is. So I kind of built a little wither skull farming area. Now, there is redstone like farms for wither skeletons, but they're really annoying to build. And I don't even know if some of them work because they're from like old updates and stuff. So I just went for the classic. Basically, um,. Wither skeletons spawn on fortresses, so I just took the fortress, the natural fortress, layered it, cleared out all the surroundings so everything spawns into here, and that's the basic farm really. No redstone evolved, just a basic farm. So now obviously this farm isn't perfect, like I cleared out this huge island here, cleared out islands beneath there, cleared out over there, cleared out so you can kind of see the patches of islands that I worked out. A lot of the stuff you can't even see that I cleared out, like all of this was nether, cleared it all out. All that cleared it all out. It's actually surprising the amount that I cleared out. Like you can only see like the holes, but there was so much above here that I cleared out. And of course, over there is not perfect, and over there is not perfect. So there's still plenty of spawns that I need to clear out. Uh, but just for today, I just needed a couple of their skulls. So if we come over here right now, things aren't spawning yet, which is weird because we are on normal. The game seems to like to do that to me, where it just, I don't know if it's a glitch. Um, and you can actually see uh, uh, some of the experience left behind for, since literally just before that wither fight I was here farming. Um, hopefully things will pop up in a second, but uh, I guess this is a good time to show you guys without uh, mob spawning here. So, you can see I literally just took it, layered it. So I did have to place a lot of those blocks. Um... But I basically what I did is I just removed the columns and used those removed blocks to build these little bridges. So it extends there, all the way there. We got these two, it extends over there, over there. And then I didn't touch anything over there. And I'll give you kind of a better look of things that I cleared out. So remember, all of this right here did have nether and I cleared it out. And I did end up pouring some lava in places like in the middle of there. Uh, I think I poured some lava there, some lava there. Just because I think light stops them from spawning. So uh, I was hoping that would kind of help. Now real quick, let me try to go back in and out. Because things aren't spawning even though I'm on normal. So that's not that's not very... Oh, there we go. Okay. So like I said, this basically... Oh, but I do need to watch out. So the one thing, this place is kind of dangerous. Um, let's just kill that blaze real quick. You know what? Let's go ahead and knock okay i guess they're just that's actually kind of bad these things are slimy they can knock you off pretty easily i'm gonna go ahead and kill both of those as you can see withers just start spawning which is really nice so um you can use ender pearls to get across which is a nice way and always quick tip always keep a fire resistance in case you fall off that's like super super important and you can get magma creams, which is nice. Obviously, you get the blazes, which you can farm. Yeah, I usually just kind of like ender pearl between layers and sit here and oh, ow, 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 uh, and just kind of farm slowly. Let's see, is there any more? See, there's two magma. Oh, oh, there's two magmas up there. You know what? I'm gonna go kill these blazes with the sword because I do want, I do want some more rods too because we're pretty low on blaze rods since we used it for potion making so much. It, I ended up getting like four skulls. Well, technically, I already had one on me. I ended up getting like three skulls in just like five minutes, which really wasn't that bad. Um, so yeah, if you guys aren't are too lazy to actually build a farm, you can just do this. Uh, layer your fortresses and try to clear out the surrounding area. Now, obviously, I used a lot of TNT, and more importantly, I used a lot of my time. This took forever. 
so it really depends how important those beacons are to you um, for me the beacons are important enough for me to spend a couple hours building like a basic farm setup but the, it's not important enough for me to build like a huge uh, redstone contraption to farm it because eh, maybe we will in the future when we get bored uh, but for now to me it's really not necessary I've got four beacons if I want to go mining or something uh, which actually that's my next project is I get one more beacon solely for the haste effect uh, so I can go mining obviously and bring that with me uh, but anyway guys for now I think this is gonna be the end of the episode guys let me just you know what I can just like throw half this stuff away because it doesn't really help me the magma cream is pretty important so I'm gonna place that in there so guys thanks for watching if you did enjoy make sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel I will see you guys later God bless and goodbye